Hey everybody, this is uh, Chris with View from the Pew. Uh, giving you a little bit of immediate feedback. Today, the Steelers improved to four and two with a thirty-two to thirteen win over Las Vegas. It wasn't perfect. Um, I know on our podcast uh, over the weekend, we, uh, Paul, Joe, and I were afraid this could be ugly. This could be ten to seven. Well, at least they won, and they won with um, by scoring thirty-two. They look pretty good. Raiders look pretty tough at spots. But overall, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, Defense overall played really well. Uh, And the offense, they ran the ball well. Uh, Najee Harris, a lot of good carries. Um, Justin Fields was all right. I was a little bit disappointed with the way he threw the ball sometimes. I don't think he had the best uh, passing game. But I think why he's going to stay as the starter of the Steelers is his legs. Um, he can make things happen uh, with his legs. And, you know, I think that's going to keep him as a starter for a while. And, uh, you know, maybe Russell Wilson becomes a, a trade target by some other teams. I don't think it's anything against Russell Wilson. I think the legs kind of keep Justin Fields in the head for now. I will say the Raiders... We're missing a lot of people. Aiden McCall has first start of the year. He looked kind of rough. Uh, he was missing both of his receivers, uh, Devontae Adams and Jacoby Myers. The Steelers took advantage of that, and they definitely made enough plays to win. Look, this is the game that they should have won that they won. Um, the last two weeks, they had two other games that should have won, but they didn't win. So at least they got the win uh, today. At least they got the win going away, which is good. They still need some help. I think Justin Fields needs to get a little bit more confidence as a passer. And I think overall the Steelers need more help uh, on their uh, skill positions. It was nice to see uh, Jalen Warren come back. I thought he did some nice, uh, a little bit of nice things. Najee really was the, uh, the bellwether of the offense. But we need some more guys who can catch the ball. Uh, we saw Roman Wilson make his return. Roman didn't play that much. I don't believe he had a target for the Steelers. It was still... Forcing the ball to George Pickens. Why can't the Steelers get that second receiver? Um, they're still reportedly in the mix for Devontae Adams. There's a report over the weekend saying Devontae may actually stay with the Raiders. Who knows? If not the uh, Devontae, there are a lot of receivers that could be had. Could the Steelers get a receiver that could easily slide in to be the number two receiver? I think that will help Justin Fields out a lot. Um reportedly Russell Wilson has a no trade con uh, in his contract. If he does, is there a place that the Steelers could potentially move him? They could agree for a trade. Uh, could a Russell Wilson for receiver trade work really well? I, I think that's some of the things the Steelers face. So the Steelers are four and two right now. Um, they're in decent position. Uh, they still have a couple winnable games coming up. Um, I'm a, I'm more hopeful for the Sewers. I'm glad they got this win. They had to get done uh, taken care of. But they still got win where they can. I, I still think they need a little bit more help. Their defense is playing really well. Why can't their offense get another skilled player to make themselves look better? I think that's the key. Uh, next week, uh, the Sewers host the Jets on a Sunday night. Uh, Jets still have Aaron Rodgers, but Aaron Rodgers hasn't been uh, the top um, the Jets just fired a head coach. I think they can win this game. And then they follow that with um, a game against at home again, a Monday night game against the New York Giants. The Giants are playing a little bit better. That's a winnable game, too, before they're by. So can the Steelers get past the Jets and the Giants both night games? If they can do that, they can be 6-2 and two going into the bye, and they'll be ready uh, to face a couple tough teams coming up in uh, Washington Commanders and the Baltimore Ravens. So this next two games, important stretch for the Steelers. How do we get wins these next two games and go to the bye looking really good? Uh, for View from the Pew, this is Chris Pew. Again, like our podcast if you're, if you're on uh, Facebook or YouTube or Spotify. Give us a like, subscribe, share us with your friends. We're excited to bring you a lot of content. We're looking forward to continuing to do that, and we need your help to get in front of as many, many people as we can. Thank you so much for your listening to us, and have a wonderful day.